Okay, those of you who are taking thesis seminar, I wanted to spend a few minutes on uh, the body paragraphs, what to consider when developing a good body paragraph. As many of you have had me in the past, we've talked about the meal plan. Meal is an acronym that stands for M, the main idea or topic sentence, E for evidence, A for analysis, and L for linking or summarizing sentence. So I want to provide a couple of different ways of thinking or going about the body paragraph as you develop each of your body paragraphs within each of your sections in your uh, literature review. So this first example, and I'll include links to all the websites here that I'm showing uh, that I'm showing you today, but remember the first sentence of the body paragraph typically is the topic sentence or the main idea. Oftentimes this is the most difficult part of developing a good body paragraph is not only coming up with a good claim or a good clear, concise topic sentence, one that's not too general, nor is it too uh, specific, but also being able to look at each uh, topic sentence as um, throughout your section so that you see the overall organization, the overall flow of your argument. Remember that if you look at each of the topic sentences for each of your paragraphs within each section, they should all reach a conclusion that is very much related to the heading itself, the level two heading in our case. So the topic sentence, oftentimes very difficult uh, to develop. Sometimes it's e easier to work backwards after having developed a, a paragraph. Look at the general idea that you're saying, uh, that you're explaining and that you're trying to address and go back to the main idea and take another look at the topic sentence to make sure that it is capturing the main idea. The next kind of sentence you need to consider, and usually the second sentence of your body paragraph is the evidence sentence. So remember the evidence sentence is gonna be the uh, citations, the claims coming from outside sources, all of the, the findings that you find in other uh, in other research, you're going to include those, some of those uh, findings into your own uh, evidence as you support each of your topic sentences within, within each body paragraph. So remember that evidence, sentence, evidence sentences are uh, claims that are coming from other authors. They're findings, they're conclusions that others have made that support your topic sentence, which again is your main idea. The next type of sentence is the analysis, or think of it as an explanation, maybe a compare and contrast, and you're analyzing the evidence within that same body paragraph in terms of the topic sentence. You can also look at it by lo linking the current data and comparing and contrasting to what you've already mentioned in prior paragraphs. The last sentence, the transition, is going to be either transition sentence that links the current idea of the current body paragraph to the main idea of the next body paragraph, but it can also be a summarizing sentence. This is where you can link your conclusions for this particular type of body paragraph and link it back to, let's say, the thesis statement, which again is going to be located at the end of your introduction of your lit review. So your transition sentence, the last sentence, you have different options. You can, again, uh, connect or transition from the current main idea to the next, or you can link it back to the thesis statement uh, based on what you've been developing in the current body paragraph. So the main thing I want to stress, the main importance of your uh, body paragraph is making sure, first of all, that the first sentence is your topic sentence and your second sentence will be the evidence sentence. From that point, you can decide on whether or not you're going to follow up with another evidence or you're going to do an analysis type of sentence and then how many sentences are going to be uh, included in that body paragraph that, that are going, going to provide a balance between evidence and analysis. Remember, we don't want to have too much evidence and not enough analysis, nor do we want too little of evidence and too much analysis. We want a good balance between those two. Also remember that the analysis sentences must analyze evidence that's already been presented. So make sure you're not analyzing something that you later provide evidence for. 
The evidence should come first, then the analysis. If you remember those two things, uh, you, I don't think you'll have a problem making sure that you have a good balance between evidence and analysis type sentences and that you have a good, you have a good balance and that you have uh, some sort of logical order in, in the way that you're presenting the evidence. Remember here, this is where transitions become really important. If you're providing additional type of evidence, uh, you're going to need to use addition type of connectors. If you're using contrast uh, types of evidence or cause and effect uh, relationships between types of evidence, make sure that you choose the appropriate type of connector. My suggestion is to go online and find your best list of sentence connectors listed by type and use that as a guide. Some, uh, in fact, most if not all uh, connectors are idiomatic, so many times it's helpful to have a list to refer to and just basically stick to that, uh, to that list. So basically, that's all I wanted to share, kind of a recap of things to consider when you're developing your body paragraphs. Many of this is what we've talked about in prior classes in academic writing, in redacción, finding a way to develop these ideas. There are other acronyms, certainly, uh, that uh, basically get to the same result. But the main idea is to have and be aware of those different types of sentences that are functioning differently within a body paragraph and that each body paragraph ends up to being unified, that is on point, that is coherent, that is well organized, and that is cohesive, that is there is good transition between idea uh, from one idea to the next or from one sentence to the next. So I hope this helps. If you do have any questions or want me to look at your work, feel free to leave comments in your Google Docs or certainly uh, email me to schedule a face-to-face -face, uh, tutoring session in addition to the one that we already have if need be.